Hawaii Waters has brought us this, a way to provide relief from their painful and sometimes life-threatening stings. The military's combat divers already use it. This is what the Department of Defense contracted to purchase from me for the combat divers. And it's in a small foil pack, and it's basically a maximum concentrate version. And it can be applied underwater and kept in the wetsuit. Now you can too. Sting No More is a solution biochemist Angel Yanni Gihara has long sought. I myself was stung horribly in 1997, which, as a biochemist, started me on this whole path of what's in this venom, how does it work, and how could we inhibit it. Her quest took several turns, but with years of lab work and new patented technology, things appear to be coming together. She tapped the UH Hilo Pharmacy School and allowed a labs to formulate not one, but three products that are now available online. Their pharmacists have been helping me compound this, and uh, we were required to have a commercialization plan and to bring this format to market. Long distance swimmer Diana Nyad tested the anti sting formulation during her most recent crossing from Cuba. For your swimmer that's going to be out in the open ocean for an hour at a time, um, this is the, both a pro prohibitive, a preventative, as well as a treatment. And there's a spray to help remove tentacles if you've already been stung. But all that research with marine organisms got Yanagihara thinking about another stinging pest. I had ordered fire ant venom. Not from the little fire ants that have begun to invade the Big Island in Maui, although that may come later, but from a larger ant variety. We're very interested to, to pursue that further. I know certainly on the bench it works very well against the fire ant venom, um, but that's the large one that's in Texas. Um, so it's interesting for us to find that it also has local application. Her research is to be published later this year, but she's confident of her findings. What works on box jellies works on fire ants. It's pretty exciting, um, but it's, it's kind of a classic research tale that you go after looking for one problem, it leads you to another. Not even she knows where else this will lead. It's, it's very satisfying to, to get this to the point that we can have it in the public sector, and we're basically taking uh, you know, step by step to increase the, the market availability. Box Jellies now opening doors. Catherine Cruz, KITV 4 News. For direct links to Sting No More and a lot of labs, just head to the As Seen On section of our website at KITV.com.